Um, I'm one uh, 180 actually. I think I'm the same size as, as EJ. Am I not? No. Let's get another shot like that of the rear end next to the OMS uh, engines. Look at that leading edge. Yeah, 180. Yep. It's a big, it's a big beast. And let me show you a little picture on the wall here. Let me show you that picture up there. Let's see if it zooms in. I don't know if the camera quality is good enough. No, it isn't. They're almost as big as Purdy Pie. Yeah, he's he's 181, right? Well, technically, I'm 186. <laughs> it's, it says so. <laughs> I'm 186. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> okay. Let's set it up right here so you guys can actually see the streamer for scale again. You can actually get a sense of the scale of this thing. I know, right? Yeah, and a GI was the heavy lifter, man. Scary Terry. That's all it needed. And a GI was doing the heavy lifting. So it only needed... Actually, the Orbiter didn't have the jet engines either. So scratch those and you're left with the maneuver thrusters, the two platoons right there, and the OMS right there. Yeah. It it didn't get it didn't gave a, a crap man, so Energia plus uh, Buran was sitting at about thirty five hundred tons. I kid you not. So the entire stack plus shuttle was thirty five hundred tons, and that went up in space, only once sadly, but. Yeah, and the most expensive one too, right? But I wish we still had that. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, but then the uh, Soviet Uni Union collapsed. And with that, the funds. And all the funds went into Mir. And keeping Mir flying. There. Careful now. Don't know what time it is, but Whew. okay. Let's give give people some room. Whew. Oh, you can have a really nice view of the uh, model here. Wait a minute. Let me uh, maneuver my tripod into position. Look at that. That's the Boar 5. Look at the damage there. All right. So it got some sun damage of laying in the desert. But other than that, it's in pretty good nick. Live streaming now, Scary Terry, so 
I can't really check out links. Yeah, it's really cool, man. Should go. Oh, kind of thing. <laughs> oh, no, it's brand new. I've been here a couple of times, so take your time. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. yes. My first time here. So. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely really? stunning. Do you have any idea how this Buran came into into German in Germany? Um, that's a really interesting story, actually. Um, let me set up the tripod here. Okay. Just for a moment. Um, let's get a steady shot for the viewers right here. So yeah. I'm live streaming. YouTube yeah, live I'm live streaming at the moment. Yeah, nice. yeah, all space nerds. So, so the story about the Buran here is really interesting. So after the collapse of the Soviet Union, yep. they cut fun funding for uh, for the Buran mm -hmm. and Energia, which was its carrier rocket. Yep. And uh, this particular Buran, after the collapse, or before the collapse, I think, uh, it ended up in uh, in. Moscow Flying Institute. It got sold to uh, an Australian company. Sold? Um, yeah, it got sold. Actually, well, got sold. Money. I mean, Russia needed money in the 90s. I know, but this is a part of history, man. Yeah, I know. Um, anyways, uh, let me let me switch the cameras because people, I'm live streaming at the moment. So um, they uh, they sold it to an Australian company. Uh, part of the company was uh, an Australian astronaut, actually, mm -hmm. and they used it as an uh, exposition uh, um, piece in, in Sydney Harbour. Um, okay. It got a little bit neglected, sadly to say, and after the company went bust, it got sold, uh, bought by a Singaporean investment agency mm -hmm. okay. who shipped it to Bahrain. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, I read it out of the book, so I study it out of out of my uh, out of my head now. And it ended up uh, going on tour through Asia. That was planned, but it only went to Malaysia for a year and went back. And it got broken up in pieces, stored outside behind oh. a hangar. And a group of G German journalists actually sp uh, found it and they notified Speyer Museum. Okay. And they went through a very lengthy progr uh, progress, going through courts and to get it. And it, they, sh they they eventually were able to ship it out, but it you can you can get a information book for three euros. It's really worth it. Okay, uh, you can get a robot to get it for you. It's really funny. It's uh, you throw in three euros. We should do that. Three euros and, is almost yeah. And it, and it and it and it gives you a lot of information about the journey it it, it was on mm -hmm. and um, and the history of the actual the one that flew because the one that flew you of course know got destroyed yeah. by the collapse of the hangar in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so which it's is not that one was was in space. No, no, no. This was the flight tester. Hence the four engines that are fitted. And it it has uh, I think R R B correct me if I'm wrong, R R R B thirty one engines, the same as in the Sukhoi uh, twenty seven. Mm -hmm. And those were uh, assisting with takeoff and after after reaching a certain altitude, it did twenty five flights, test flights, it shut down the engine mm -hmm. and it glided back to test Okay, test so the, uh, fly. the flight. This okay. is Enterprise, basically. You have the mm -hmm. American shuttle Enterprise that they slap on top of a seven seven four seven. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, if somebody wants to. Uh... <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> but they slapped uh, Enterprise on top of uh, a seven uh, seven four seven. But the Russians were, uh, yeah, they just adopted a different strategy. They just added jet engines to the test model and do it like that. Okay. Nice. But if you look down there. <coughs> That's the flight model they use yeah. in space. Uh, I read the history about the, this one. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know the, before uh, they made the small Buran. I did not. Price. I did not know that either. So I have some questions from the chat. Um, Et, but uh, I've seen shuttle pick. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Let's let's get back to a view of the cargo bay. Um, Zenith. Yeah, Zenith is part of the um, uh, Energia hardware. Yep, that's part of the uh, the side boosters. That's the legacy of uh, of Energia. That's the only thing we have left of uh, Energia at the moment. N um, Bougie, no, uh, yeah, in indeed, there's a there's a common uh, 
yeah, misunderstanding that they uh, they would use the jet engines to go up in space. That was initially the plan, but technically they they abandoned that. So they would have glide this uh, this shuttle the same as the sh uh, space shuttle basically, but it was lighter as the space shuttle once empty. Didn't have the big like the three boosters uh, strapped on the back of it. Yeah, they planned for it, but they abandoned it because of technical difficulties. Let's see. Let's get it a little bit higher. There we go. Cool. So yeah, they did 25 flights and they developed the autopilot, which was really successful because the only Buran that flew in space unmanned did a perfect autopilot landing with a crosswind. <laughs> Yeah, that's something that NASA never achieved. Uh, uh, I mean, if if I'm not uh, if I'm not uh, uh, wrong, and this this piece of hardware here is uh, somewhat more advanced than the space shuttles. Yeah, it came later. It came later. Yeah, yeah. the the space shuttle was developed in the seventies, as you know. Yes, and, and look better. Yeah, it, it is. It is. Yeah, don't tell EJ. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a fellow streamer. So yeah, basically we're uh, we're uh, a group of space enthusiasts who uh, stream Kerbal Space Program on. Uh, nice. Yeah, we're hardcore Kerbal Space Program uh, streamers, and now uh, now I'm IRL. Do we know? Um, do we know what this hardware? Right. Um, I don't know. I know that is the fuel tank that feeds the four jet engines. And this is probably sensor package computers. Like I said earlier, they developed the uh, they developed the autopilot. <laughs> hey Solo, howdy. <laughs> so yeah, we have many viewers like from the U.S. and um, people who can't be in be here right now. So it's cool to. I never seen somebody share. Like if people shared the, uh, the the shuttles, and we have EJ just mm -hmm. showing a big museum in in America, like an aircraft carrier, and next to it is Enterprise. But yeah, we in Europe have shuttle too. You know? We have Duran. <laughs> Long time no see, Solo. Yep. Hello, man. All right. Let's get a few of the cockpit. Uh, are these panels here on the wings the actual uh, the actual panels that flew with, uh, with this space shuttle? Yes, but they're dummies. They're made of metal. Yeah, but it did it, it did wasn't designed to go in space. This one. Oh, okay. Okay. So it didn't it need it needed an analog for uh, the space hardware. So the it didn't have it did it did have the same weight in tiles. Okay. But it didn't have the same shielding as the actual one that exactly, went to space. Exactly, because right now this is metal. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't need to to have the same shielding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the fuselage is aluminium. Yeah. Yeah. This thing weighs. I think empty weight is. I think fifty-one tons, if I'm not mistaken, and fully. Fully fueled and loaded, loaded, it could uh, take on one. It was it was 150 tons. So, in combined with energy, um, maybe we can see that up there, right there. But together with energy, this thing was 300, uh, 3,500 tons. Imagine that going into space. All right. There. Have a great have a great day, guys. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> there we go. Yep. We need this in Kerbal <laughs> Space Program. We need a Buran cockpit, don't we? <laughs> uh, the the surface is a little bit scratched, but uh, yeah. They have a tape running with the actual flight flight uh, talk all right 
don't know what the time is now, but let's sneak around. Yes. Ooh. Let's watch. Let's watch here. What is this? Hmm. Every nook and cranny. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Nope, that's true. But the cockpit was the same as... Um, the cockpit was exactly the same. Except for the... Um, I think uh, for the engine uh, throttles. Let's switch it off. All right. So let's show you guys another one. All right. All right. Let's get a few in the back end here. Or wait a minute, let's walk around it. Lunar lander, yes. We can go there. Here. There we go. No worries. No worries, Aries. What really... I didn't know the shuttle was this, or the the lander was this big. <laughs> and the rover, yep, right there. Okay, switch around. All right. So let's let's enter the back service port. I have to uh, fold up the uh, tripod a little bit. Let's see. You can actually get in, into the bottom here. Here we go. Let's see if I have enough space. Just like that. Thank you for this, by the way. Oh, no worries, man. Really like to share this. We have enough shuttle footage, but the run footage is rare. It's just really, really rare. Here we go. There. So we can actually get up here. Let's see if I can actually light it up a little bit for you guys. There. It's really big. Yeah, it's science and technology because we are live here checking out the run. Right here. Right in the back end. Yes, yeah, IRL. Clouds are active, yep. Look at that. There's a causeway right up there. Always fun. Right now. Other times at Curl Space Program, yep. All right, let's turn around. Be careful. Don't want to fall down. Switch it off. Whoa. All right. Well, it's really quieting down. I don't know how long they're still open. But at least I got the t-shirt, right? Okay. All right set up the uh, tripod so you can see the rear of it is just fixed you see that it's not moving but the nozzles are I would like to think they are I'm not sure Iris you were you asked that earlier but I don't know no foiled Igor first time here probably won't be visiting it soon it Took me a six-hour drive, and I'm uh, I'm staying at an Airbnb near, just for two museums. So let me set set this up. Here we go. 
So really rickety old. There. Okay. Making sure we're still charging. Are we still start charging? No, we're not. Okay. There. There. Okay. Let's let, let me walk up to the end here for scale. It was a long drive. <laughs> My disappointment is immeasurable. You're not here with bike, no. You know how much equipment I'm hauling? <laughs> you know how much equipment I'm hauling? You're so hard to please, really. It's, it's the same as in-game. You just, you just want to torture me. That, that's all you want. Just torturing. Torturing just the Dutch guy. <laughs> Let's see if that actually works. No, it does not really, does it? No. Okay. Let's move around. Let's move around a little bit more. All right. I just have high expectations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a Dutch guy. Yeah. Here we go. Right under the wing there. Look at that. Under the leading leading edge. Let's look inside the uh, wheel well here. Let's see. Look at that. Guys like shots like this, right? Let's set it on the ground. There we go. It's quite similar to the shuttle, but it's just gravity, uh, gravity driven, basically. Serial number. You can return it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so let's do another shot to get guys a sense of the scale. This is uh, TM-19. This uh, particular uh, Soyuz actually went to Mir. So. Here. So I really want this cockpit, guys. I really want this cockpit in Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look at that. Talk about bucket seats, right? Look at that. This cockpit is so much cooler than um, the Vostok cockpit is. All right, let's set it up. So you get, here we have Vostok, right there. All right, let's turn it around, make a nice shot. Just to give you a little scale perspective here. Right. We're still charging. Yeah, we're charging, that's good. All right. So I'll just stand there. You guys can have a sense of the scale of this thing. I'll be right back. So that gives you guys a little sense of the scale. Just a Dutch guy for scale. Yeah, that's true. 
So there's something something else going on. You see that? Let's let's check that out. I did not know that. So it's always fun to share something new, right? So you guys are into space history, right? Well, this is something I didn't know. So let's show you guys this. So this is a model that actually went to space. This is Bor. This is Bor Five. They flew this up to 200, uh, yeah, 210 kilometers on top of an R16 uh, booster, and they uh, they flew it back. So you can see the scorch marks on it because this thing flew a lot faster than Buran actually did. See the plasma scorch marks on it. Fly it around in my local park, yeah. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Going to space is dangerous, McCoy. It's bad, McCoy. Here we go. See that? You can actually, let's flip on the lights. Let's see. Let's get on top of that. There. So this thing was partly radio controlled and had a had a small autopilot but you can see so it didn't have tiling like this thing got re way more hotter than uh, the actual Buran did it in instead it relied on uh, plastic fiber heat shielding but look at this it barely held up you see that you can just see the, the damage it took. But it glided through uh, the atmosphere after re-entry and it uh, did some re-entry maneuvers. And it was tracked by, it was tested at a test range in, uh, where they tested their anti-missile defense system. So they had a lot of radars that could, radars that could track it very accurately, and um, it went through the atmosphere, did maneuvers while in uh, enveloped in plasma, so it didn't have radio radio contact. So it relied on an automatic automatic system for that reason. It even has you can see it, it even had thrusters. You see that it had it had R, um, RCS thrusters on there, and. Um, it flew, whoa, lost focus there. Come on, baby. There we go. But um, yeah, it, it flew a little bit faster through the, uh, through the upper layers of the atmosphere. It w got about a thousand degrees hotter than Buran actually did. Hi. And uh, after, after going through, uh, through re entry, it maneuvered, did some flight maneuvers, and at about as three or four kilometers it pulled the chute and came down safely and hence the result <laughs> should i use liquid fuel or oxidizer for my ksp replica mm. it depends man Just gotta get the Kerbal out and push it. Yeah, I almost had to do that last week. But let's get let's get let's get up there. Let's get a top view. Oh, <laughs> that kind of didn't work. There, twenty-one, still charging. Good. All right. There we go. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Which one? Uh, it's fine.
Zeit. Ja. Fangen wir ganz oben an. Mhm. Ui. Und komm, Franke. Komm, Ich will kommen nach, wenn ich was nicht ganz gut gehen will. So, you're, you're American or? Touch. Touch. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm live streaming at the moment. So, I have all ah, my okay. friends who are really into space. Yeah. Me too. So, I'm sharing this. Oh, that's great. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's amazing. It's a very interesting place here. Yeah. It? Yeah, there are only two left in the world. So, yeah. Which is the other one? Uh, the other one is in Sochi, uh, Russia. Ah, Sochi, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Um, going with liquid fuel and oxidizer. Yeah, I always have a backup, right? Going up. <laughs> yeah, we are back. Here we go. So let's set you guys up here and have a talk. There we go. Smile, you're on TV. So they were from Russia. Pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's set this simple tripod up a little bit higher. So we have a nice view of Buran. Right there. I think that's... Yeah, that's it. There we go. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a model of ISS. We have two here, by the way, two models. And in the background, right there, right there, you can see uh, Ariana upper stage. There. Cool. Yeah, that that won't fit in my studio. That's for sure. That model is a little bit too big, sadly to say. It can't can't fit in my car. <laughs> Fly for all the disasters. <laughs> oh no. Actually, all the shuttles. Endeavour, Atlantis, Discovery, Challenger, Columbia. Yep. Not all of them ended up well. Sad to say. Let me let me answer some questions here. Let's um, let's see if I can actually activate it. Oh yeah, that's still activated. Awesome. All right. So I'm just logging in with my uh, spare phone, so I can actually see what you guys are asking me. Whew. There. So, there we go. Any other questions?